he is a very reliable consultant in the department. And, and any job we give him, he will do it uh, perfectly with passion. And that's the reason why, I hope personally, I was very happy that he was handling the graduate uh, part of our uh, department. As a person, I think, uh, yes, if, if Dr. Hawson has something he believes in, he will passionately uh, defend it. So that's how I know Dr. Hawson. And he's also a classmate of my husband. And a very nice person. <laughs> and so Ray, uh, there's life after uh, retirement. And I'm glad that you're coming back as a clinical professor. So goodbye and welcome back. Okay. <laughs> you know, thank you. Okay. Hi, right, classmate. Magbe retire ka na pala. Uh, so that means you're 65 years old. But don't worry, next year, 65 na rin ako. Magbe retire na rin ako. Uh, PGH will lose a very hard working and dedicated consultant. But I hope you will not retire in your practice. I learned that when we went surfing, kana lang daw. I still need you, kasi I'm breast patient, so sa yung kundi refer. Greetings to the attendees of this testimonial for Dr. Ray Hawson on his retirement. It's a pleasure for me to greet you, Ray, on this your retirement, going to another phase of your life. Ray has been known to be uh, inclined towards teaching and administration. Hello Ray. We had uh, fond memories together as surgical residents and I believe if we were to rewind our lives you would still want to go through the rigors of surgical residency together with our team before and with friends and foes all together. Ray and I were midnight appointees of Dr. Resho. And uh, when Dr. Resho retired, we were left in the hands of Dr. George Eufemio. And our song then was, uh, Ano man ang aming maging kapalaran, si akong lamang ang nakakaalam. And so we did, and uh, of the six of us who started first year, only four of us survived general surgery. So Ray, uh, this is just the first day of the rest of your life. Retirement is just uh, being taken, uh, being uh, without any government plantilla. But life must go on. Um, I am sure you will not stop mentoring, it runs in your blood. So best wishes as you turn another page in your life. Sir Ray, Sambonga City Medical Center will forever be grateful to you. You have been a great part of our surgical education. Thank you for making Sambonga City as your second home. Congratulations on your retirement. Now the fun begins. Wishing you the best in the next chapter of your life. Hi, RJ. Uh, I heard you were retiring. You do definitely don't look like it. But I guess uh, age is catching up on you. So uh, in time for your testimonial dinner is what I've got to say. I remember you as one of the more dedicated, passionate senior residents that I have, that I have had. And I believe I was the one who gave you the name RJ because that was the time where RJ and the riots were very popular during our time and therefore I took the uh, nickname of RJ for you and I think it has uh, held on for so many years and that's how I've been, I've been calling you for so long. I remember uh, aside from uh, the general surgery rotation that I had we also rotated together in the pediatric surgery and you were the only senior resident who made me rotate and go on duty every day for three months so that when you left you gave the uh, chief of pediatric surgery to me and of course i'm very thankful for that because i learned a lot uh, 
I didn't go home for three months. I stayed there. Uh, my, my parents took all the, brought in the clothes, etc. I wasn't married then. Now, as we became consultants, uh, I trusted you so much during the early part of uh, my career. Uh, I had my sister operated by you and uh, for breast cancer. And I am very happy to report to you that up to now, after 30 years, you still, you did a good job. And I mean, she's alive, doing well, no recurrence. I know you gave her uh, chemotherapy then, and that's uh, the reason why every time I see my sister, I still remember you. And of course, uh, every time we meet, at Manila Doctors Hospital, you were always alive. I know there was a controversy about uh, during that early part when, uh, and this of course controversy that involved Dr. Ramirez, me and you, because I was assigned as the interns monitor then. And because of my great trust and belief in you, belief in you because you wrote an intern's manual. And I was so impressed by that manual that I wrote Dr. Ramirez that uh, there's nobody else who could uh, occupy the position except you. Unfortunately, Dr. Ramirez thought otherwise. And that was how uh, Dr. Ramirez froze my position and wrote that uh, now classic letter, rest assured that this is going to be remembered for so many years and so on. And I think they're going to repeat that again when I, they have, I have my testimonial dinner uh, five years from now. But just the same, I know you also had your controversy, controversies of your own being a urologist and we were advocating circumcision. You were the lone ranger who did not want to have a circumcision. We are not going to discuss that now, but suffice to say that, uh, you know, we were at both ends of that point. But in spite of that, we are still very good friends. I think you still have, oh, 20, 30 years of productive surgical life. And uh, I believe that, uh, I wish you that you will continue to be as passionate, dedicated, caring, and uh, producing the same good results that you've had all these years from the time that you graduated from PGH until now and until the several years to come. So RJ, uh, here's best wishes on your testimonial. You, you definitely deserve all the accolades that you are going to get and will get in the future. Thank you.